It's so important. The league we keep hearing gets younger and younger, and you have to get production out of these young players in a salary cap world. Yeah, that's the thing. It's a salary cap era now, and you look at the teams that have won Stanley Cups. They get contributions from young players that really aren't on those high-end contracts. They are important. They were important in Washington. They were important in Pittsburgh, and they are going to be important moving forward in this league for many years to come. In a salary cap league, you have to draft and develop well. If you don't... You're going to have problems. We're going to get back to his point in a moment. But first, how did we get to this top 10? Must be affiliated with an NHL team to be considered played less than 25 games. Must be age 25 or younger. The order determined by high-end talent and organizational depth. Back to the point EJ made about the Caps and how much their talent was helped. 18 of their players were either drafted or signed and played at least one game in the playoffs en route to winning the first cup in franchise history. This gets our attention. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, you have to do well with your high draft picks, and you have to identify your core guys, and you get them signed long term. But it starts with the drafting process, your scouts looking at these different players. I mean, Tom Wilson on the end there. I mean, Alex Ovechkin. You and I could have stood up there at the podium in 2004. <laughs> First overall, We're going to take Alex Ovechkin. Nicholas Baxter, really talented. Some of the other picks a little bit trickier. John Carlson was a later first-round pick. Braden Holtby, a fourth-round pick. Goalies are often later. Kuznetsov, when he was picked in 2010, there was some concern about, well, is, he's a Russian player. When are we going to get him over here? So that's always a late to first think round, about. too. And Tom Wilson was a guy that really didn't dominate with skill, but... He is such a unique player because he's big, he skates well, and he can play with high-end players, as we saw over this last season when the Washington Capitals elevated him to play first-line minutes and, and how he was able to be a factor in games for them. So you've got to be able to draft and develop. And when those guys, when you do draft well and you, you identify your core and you have those guys at your base, you've got a chance to be successful. And how successful. Kuzi goes late first round, goes for more than 30 points, and doesn't win the cons. Mike, that's yeah. how special yeah. Ovi was.